So going yeah. back, <clears throat> maybe when you were a kid or certainly through your teenage years and you're playing the alto then, and who, who were the guys that you were listening to? And well, I liked, uh, I, I used to listen to, uh, well I didn't listen like all the time, Paul Desmond was the first guy I listened to. And then I was listening to uh, Charlie Parker, uh, an alto player, uh, Sonny Stitt, um, Sonny Red, Jackie McLean, Phil Woods, you know, uh, Art Pepper, and um, you know James Spaulding, guys like that. And then tennis, uh, I you know I listened to J to Train, Dexter Gordon, I liked a lot, you know, and he's like that, and uh, you know, Joe Joe Henderson, and uh, I like the way. The thing I like about playing uh, jazz is like to to get uh, the time. I you know work on the time and, and making things like you can never be perfect, you know. But you you don't want to be perfect. It would sound like wrong. Mm. But I mean to to strive for that time to be always really pulsating, really nice. You know. Keep it swinging. Yeah. Just just talking about the albums a second. <laughs> There's a big monster theme on the album, isn't there? All yeah, sorts but, of ghoulish yes, names. Yes, but it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like it's like I wrote themes for every monster I could think of to fit on there, but but I just did a pun on that word, you know. Yeah, it was a nice easy one to do. Yes, it was. So why why the monsters thing? Was that just? Uh, well, I was in Ohio. And my friend plays drums, who I play with out there. And he likes to watch all the monster movies. You know, the old. Uh, movies from the 40s and 50s, or maybe the 50s, of, of the Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr., Jr. and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. So we're watching these old films after a gig. And uh, so I just got an idea. So I was in the, I went in the music room after and I started to just play the piano. I love playing changes, and I, I like that. And I, and I started to play, I just played a chord. And I said, yeah, Lee, I'm gonna write a tune now. This is like, called uh, Theme for the Wolfman or the Pentagram, so I wrote that tune. And so I said, so I got a, an idea to do this whole album of, of themes for the, you know, Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, which I recorded on uh, years ago. I used that tune in uh, Transylvania 6500, oh, and then uh, In the Woods at Night, and I went on to The Bride of Frankenstein, you know, and uh, Dracula, Count Dracula. So the the album's really musically in your playing it's yeah. bop and well would you say and how how would you classify well it is bop but the the band that I had I had uh, an electric bass player on this album and I had players that I never recorded with before they were sort of like uh, friends of mine that I never got to record with and I thought they'd be good to do this I wanted to do more of a modern approach and some of the tunes quite honestly when I play them now with with uh, more straight ahead jazz players, they really swing harder than I think the album sounds, you know, so it's like, but I'm over critical about my recordings because I, I really, I'm always trying to, to record new things and, and, but now I'm starting to learn how to record after about 12 or 13 recordings. I'm actually starting to feel comfortable in the studio. Mm. It's difficult because you may have a fantastic session and gig somewhere. Oh yeah, it's always missed. How, you, how do you capture that? In studio terms, because the well, it's an artificial environment, isn't it? I suppose, and you have to have good people working the, the the ropes for you, you know, and knowing, so you don't have to worry about anything. And also, you have to forget about recording and just try to relax with the uh, with playing. <laughs> asked me the other day on the concerts, you know, or wherever it was, he said, how do you guys memorize all those notes you play? <laughs> you know, when you're playing with your eyes closed and all this stuff, I said, and then why does the bass player look at the music? I said, well, he's, he's, he's looking at the chords, like, we have letters with a number there, it means like a harmony, it's a language, he's looking to see what bass line he's going to walk through, because he doesn't know the tune. So people don't understand, so... Right, you get a, get a tune in, like just go through it yourself, you know. Tre play the roots of the chords, play the melody. I mean, do all the, not in any necessarily the order, but play the melody and then try to improvise through the changes. Then try to walk a bass line on your instrument through the changes, you know. And then try to do um, uh, chord structures on the chords. 
you know, just get totally bored with it, you know, and, and then, you know, you hate the tune after a while, but then you learn it really well, and then you play with the group, you know, how many times do you play one tune in, in your life? You know, I played, say, a standard tune, like, maybe hundreds of times. I don't get tired of, like, certain tunes, and it's always a challenge, but try to play differently on, on the tune. Sometimes you think, well, I, I like that lick, I'll use it again. You know, you got to get away from that. So really, you have to... Mm -hmm. Just indulge yourself with the music and, <coughs> mm -hmm. and the knowledge exactly, comes yeah. from that and the, the more you listen to and the more you study and... Well, know, it does... Not, the vocabulary well of the play. Yeah, I like exactly. that. I like that, what you said there. Yeah, yeah. yeah.